Hello guys, this is Pradeep and uh, in this video I'm going to introduce about IT infrastructure support course. So what is IT infrastructure? IT infrastructure is nothing. Um, it is uh, IT facilities in a company. So if you are going to work in an IT company, they will have some facilities to work. So which is uh, depends upon the hardware and software. Hardware is computer, network devices and printers etc. Software is MS Office. Uh, Google Chrome, uh, Internet Explorer, and and some of some of project-based applications, etc. These are all the ID basic infrastructures. And uh, a company need employees to manage their IT infrastructure. Simply, they will call IT support. How cool it is, right? If you done this course, you will become IT support. <laughs> IT support primary role is to ensure everything status is fine. So, uh, which means. Uh, a computer or a server or a network devices so it needs to work properly if not uh, the enter environment will be affected so you need to ensure the status is fine so if not you have to repair that so we'll see how to repair and how to configure everything in this so we have covered uh, most of the technologies in the syllabus so let's see it so IT or technical or customer support or everything is um, equal which means the responsibilities are same so uh, what they will do they will do desktop support server support and vendor support in desktop support what it will do uh, it will build a computer system and uh, it will install operating systems and uh, it will configure private applications based on the company requirements in case of any error, you will uh, repair that or uh, resolve the errors, which means you are going to troubleshoot the error. So that you need uh, knowledge about desktop, installation, configuration, everything in client side. And server side, uh, mostly experience will do configurations and uh, vendor will install the server hardware and um, it will install uh, server operating system and configure what uh, servers are required for the environment and in case of any other you will troubleshoot the server for freshers freshers need some experience to uh, work with server freshers cannot immediately work on server they need some experience on desktop and so that they will get to know how server sending the service to the client and how client is receiving the service from the client so once you have learned about that it will it, it, it will really easy to understand what is what server is doing and how we need to uh, work with server something like that and for vendor support, vendor is nothing. A uh, company bought some IT peripherals in market, so problems in that peripherals, vendor will come and uh, help you to resolve the errors. So for that, you need to discuss with your vendor and you need to contact and support with your vendor. For that, you need uh, asset management uh, related knowledge and report management related top knowledge. So in particularly vendor support, uh, Seniors, your uh, your colleagues will help support because uh, each and every company have some private structure. So we need to know about from the senior level. So it will really help you that we will help you about what is asset management and what is report management in your special sessions. Okay. And um, Pilagam infrastructure support course syllabus are will covering most of the IT support uh, technologies. It will really help you to get the overview of how they have constructed the IT infrastructure. And uh, in operating system, we are covering Red Hat Enterprise Linux and Windows Server. And um, you should know about virtualization technology if you are planning to uh, study about cloud. So cloud virtualization technology base of cloud. And in IT automation, uh, we will covering shell scripting and partial basics. For private cloud, we are covering VMware and Microsoft Hyper-V product. And uh, basics in networking, you will know um, what type of networking architecture is needed for a company at last and uh, for Red Hat Enterprise Linux we are covering first of all system management first you need to know about the commands what are the commands and how it will operate with Linux something like so we will know about basic CLA operations command line operations and user management disk management file management process management and package management and network management so and for server management you will get to know about uh, M server file server network server, web server, mail server, proxy server and domain server. So to need to know about uh, overview of all the server, just google it, you will get to know about what is FTP, what is NFS and Samba, 
what are the difference between FTP, NFS and Samba and what is DHCP, DNS, something like that. Let us do check out our playlist or uh, our channel. We will um, provide the videos of all configurations, all server configurations. And in Red Enterprise next, we will cover in storage management. In storage, you will get to know about RAID and LVM. And in security, you will know about uh, four layers of security DAX, SSU, Next, SSU, Refers, and Firewall D. Firewall D refers uh, uh, 7, version 7, Red Hat. And IP tables refers 6 version in Red Hat. In automation management, you will get to know about basics of shell scripting, as I said uh, just before. And in Windows Server, Mm, we will get about system management the same like um, uh, in Linux and in server management you will get to know about directory server ADDC active directory domain controller and network server DNS DSCP deployment WDS and web server IIS compared with Windows and Linux Windows server syllabus is low because we believe future is Linux and in Windows server we have covered most important topics so it will really help you in Windows environment and automation management for PowerShell. PowerShell will really help you to manage your IT administration tasks in Windows and you can automate uh, installation and configuration of servers. We will teach you um, in any one of server like IS, IDDC or anything how to automate that installation and configuration and how to work with PowerShell something like that. We will get on about that. And virtualization and in this topic we will know about what is virtualization and what is virtual machine what are the types of concepts and how many products are available in market and how a virtualization based company architecture will be like and in VMware we will introduce about VMware workstation ESXi and how to install and configure v workstation and ESXi and vSphere client and how, co how to configure virtual machines in ESXi Right. And in Microsoft Hyper-V, we will introduce you what uh, Microsoft Hyper-V and we will teach you install and configure Microsoft Hyper-V and we will know about virtual machine manager to manage virtual machines and you will know how to configure virtual machines in Hyper-V. In networking, it's, it contains the basics. So, what is NAC card? What is IP addressing? How many classes are there? Something like and know how oh, about OIC layers, and um, we'll teach you switch and router types and protocols. Protocols means FTP, Samba, something DNA. There are some protocols. So, we'll teach you what it is, and NAT. What is NAT? What is VPN? And uh, what is the type of company based network architecture and network device troubleshootings. So what are the advantages if you've done this course? So trainees can attend interviews in multiple openings. It will really help them to get a job very quickly. And what are the position you can apply? It is desktop support and admin, desktop admin or support, server admin or support, Linux admin, Windows admin, technical support and customer support. So these are the openings you can work with. Uh, let's review about Pylagam features. Uh, Pylagam is the government registry institute. IT professionals are trainers, free demo class, more emphasis on practical sessions. And you'll get uh, excellent unlimited lab facilities, uh, limited students in each batch, mock interviews and bi-weekly tests conducted properly. And uh, you can attend the free personal development sessions, special technical sessions and free communication classes. This, this, this class will really help you to speak well in English and um, uh, once you've done this course you will do a project on real-time scena based scenarios and we'll teach you uh, based on the scenario. So what is scenario? Currently interviewers are asking based on the questions. The questions are depends on the scenario. Scenario refers so uh, maybe interviewer will ask you like uh, um, currently, I'm working in a system which is a Linux system. Suddenly, the CPU percentage reaches 100 percentage. So, how to uh, uh, resolve this error? Something uh, they will ask. So, you need to answer uh, the troubleshoot steps. So, like that, we will teach you, which is called uh, scenario based learning. And uh, contact Pylagam. And uh, contact number is 8044 and email ID is moneycanton at pilagam.com or info at pilagam.com.
we'll send you the syllabus in detail okay thanks for watching this